Caroline Chisholm was a gift to those she selflessly dedicated her life, migrant women and families. A devoted mother and wife herself, Caroline led the battle for dignity for the migrant community in the harsh 19th-century colonial society of Australia. Born on 30 May 1808 to a well-to-do and large farming family in Northampton, England, she was the youngest of 16 children for her father William, and the seventh child to her mother. Three earlier wives had died in childbirth. Caroline Jones converted to the faith of her Roman Catholic husband after they married in 1830, they continued the family tradition of evangelical philanthropy. Captain Archibald Chisholm was an officer serving with the East India Company. Chisholm became aware that the young girls in the Indian barracks were picking up the bad behavior of the soldiers. In 1834 she founded the Female School of Industry for the Daughters of European Soldiers that provided a practical education for the girls. They were given instruction in reading, writing and religion, cooking, housekeeping and nursing. It was not long before the soldiers asked that their wives could also attend the school. Chisholm gave birth to two sons, Archibald and William, as well as following her husband around the Indian subcontinent. The family travelled to Sydney in 1838 to assist Captain Chisholm recover from ill health. Here Caroline was drawn to take on the responsibility that the government had overlooked, supporting assisted immigrants and providing them with employment opportunities. She sheltered immigrant girls in her home and successfully found employment for many. She determinedly met every immigrant ship at port and soon became an icon of hope, affectionately earning herself the title of their immigrant's friend. In March 1842 Chisholm rented two terrace dwellings in East Maitland and converted them into a single cottage used as a hostel for homeless immigrants who traveled to the Hunter region in search of work. Despite controversy and anti-Catholic attitudes at the time, she persevered and never lost sight of her mission. She scorned material rewards and remained humble throughout her life. During the seven years Chisholm was in Australia she placed over 11,000 people in homes and jobs. She became a well-known woman and much admired. In 1854 Chisholm returned to Australia. She toured the Victorian goldfields and was appalled by the conditions en route. She proposed the construction of shelter sheds about a day's walk apart for prospectors and their families to travel to the goldfields, a project that received support from the government. Chisholm continued to work in Melbourne traveling to and from the home and store the Chisholms had purchased in Kyneton. She joined the family there three years later. Archibald was a magistrate during his time in Kyneton and the two elder sons helped him run the store. Due to Chisholm's ill health the family moved back to Sydney in 1858. Her health improved and at the end of 1859 and beginning of 1860 Chisholm gave four political lectures in which she called for land to be made available so that migrant families could establish small farms, a move she saw as providing greater stability in the colonies. Chisholm also wrote a novelette Little Joe that was serialized in the local paper. Chisholm died in London on 25 March 1877 and her body was brought to her hometown, Northampton. Her husband died in August 1877. She and her husband are buried in the same grave. Five of their eight children survived their parents. Over a century after her death, Caroline continues to be a prophetic voice through her hard-working, compassionate example. A protector of women's dignity, Caroline was the subject of many poems, articles and cartoons. Numerous schools, places, buildings and institutions across Australia bear her name, ensuring people will continue to be inspired by her story. Stirred by her Catholic faith, Caroline was a woman of Christian faith and compassion, whose vision and influence helped improve the lives of many people.